Oh, uh, don't, don't mind us. Don't mind us. Just walk through the middle of the road here. Hello. Last time on Races to Places, Camilla and Lyndon went whitewater rafting. Time to pack up camp and look for some more African wildlife. So behind me here is one of uh, Botswana's baobab trees. Some of the old ones that have fallen down, they've assessed them to be up to two and a half thousand years old. Uh, but the sheer size of it is massive. It's twice the width of the car at the bottom. Let me just walk up to it and show you it. You can see behind me how big it is, this thing. Huge. Imagine what it's like to stand out in the heat. It's 40 degrees Celsius here today. You can see the elephants stood under the tree in the shade, the little bit of shade that they found wafting their ears to create a little bit of draft and cool them down. Just chilling, keeping their eye on us, make sure we don't encroach onto their territory. What I've found with the elephants typically is if you don't bother them, then they don't bother you. So this 5.6 litre V8 Nissan has just rolled over 30,000 kilometres and you can see the average fuel consumption of 25.6 litres per hundred kilometres. That's because we've just travelled from the Zambian border to the middle of Botswana off-road in very deep sand tracks. So um, the range of a thousand kilometers per, ta per tank predicted when we set off is actually more like 400 kilometers per tank. So we're just about to go on a flight above the Akavango Delta. Um, you don't quite get to see the same things from the ground as you will in the air. So let's go do both. Let's go do a flight over the Delta to show you it from above. Lyndon is right, 
you'll see a whole different perspective of something when you're looking down from the sky. The Okavango Delta is produced by seasonal flooding. It drains away in summer, but from January to February, rainfall from the Angola Highlands surges down. The surge flows 1,200 kilometers in around one month. The waters then spread over 150 kilometers over the next four months, March to June. So I'm just leaving the airport here in Mound and I uh, have to say that was an amazing scenic flight. We had an hour with Mac Air, it was really cool. Um, we saw everything, uh, buffalo, elephant, rhino, hippo, giraffe, oh, you name it. We saw a lot of stuff and it was really cool. I have to say a big thank you to my friend uh, Ross Branch who hooked us up with Mac Air and uh, to get to go on the flight today. but. Uh, really really special glad we did it and to see the Delta from above with all the water and all the paths the animals have made through it was something else so that's it from Mound we're gonna head back south towards South Africa now and uh, it's been pretty special up here in the Akavango Delta sounds like that's been a good flight son The safari is over sadly. I've really enjoyed seeing the different types of animals in their natural habitat. It's been brilliant. Hey Camilla, can you just hold this for a while while I... Uh... <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Wait. Thanks. Just while I take a video showing everybody what we're doing. <laughs> hold it or hold it up. <laughs> Hold it higher. I have uh, these tools here. <laughs> Not that high. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Only joking. Give me it back. <laughs> Shoe. Mm -hmm. Friend. What are you going to give him, Camilla? I'm going to give him um, Texan no pork can carne en latada. Do you want carne en latada for and breakfast? Uh, meat, no pork. Come on then. Let's Poultry get you some and vegetable um, with uh, protein. Today is Camilla's birthday. And just an aside, happy birthday Camilla from Janet and I. So Camilla, do you want to explain where the balloon's gone? Uh, it went to a better place. <laughs> Where's the balloon gone? It's blown away. Why did it fly away? Mm. <laughs> Why did it fly away? You didn't catch it. <laughs> Why did it fly away? Well, I didn't tie it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't what? didn't tighten up uh, You didn't strong. tie it down enough? Yes. And yes. it blew away. So I carried this balloon for 10 <laughs> days to all these countries. I gave it one hour ago and she's lost it already. Okay, so we spent quite a bit of time in Cape Town rebuilding the bike, getting it ready for Africa races to places but we never actually made it up onto Table Mountain uh, something that I really wanted to do and also my girlfriend Camilla really wanted to do she came here seven years ago didn't have the opportunity to hike up Table Mountain so we were both in Johannesburg thought we would take a trip back to Cape Town and go hike up uh, Table Mountain so we're going to go up Skelton Gorge all the way to the top cross to the cable car and then take the cable car back down should be a bit of fun. Let's go see what it's all about. Well, 
With birthday celebrations done, to burn off the calories, Lyndon and Camilla are going to ascend Table Mountain. Table Mountain, as the wording would suggest, is a mountain with a flat top which forms a prominent landmark overlooking the city of Cape Town, South Africa. So I've just seen the beautiful reservoir. I didn't expect to see a reservoir up here. Just saw the little sign to it. And now we're just making our way to the top. But in the reservoir, it was like yellow, orange, brown, blue, and the white sand. To see sand up here, I didn't realize there would be sand up here. Hiking through the sand to make it to the reservoir and the views are just spectacular. Let's go to the top. Now that's a serious view over Cape Town. When the weather changes up on the Table Mountain and it starts blowing a gale and the cold comes in and your girlfriend's stolen your jacket, you have to take action. So I've got this cashmere jumper, wrapped it round my head in real survival techniques. It's brutal up here. That's my boy, giving your jacket to Camilla to keep her warm. Like the saying goes, not all superheroes wear capes. Backside from Kirsten Bosch all the way across the top, all the way across there to the cable car station, and that's where we are now. I'm gonna get the cable car down into the bottom station and then walking again back to the city. Well, you guys. Having hiked up there, you've earned the cable car ride down. I'm afraid Janet and I took it both ways. So after all the thousands of kilometers I've done so far in, four, in the four months that I've been in Africa, I've still not seen a lion. I've heard them at night time when I've been camping, roaring, grunting, and it's super scary, but I've never actually encountered a lion. So today here in Johannesburg, came to the Lion and Safari Park to get up close to the lions, get some photography and videos of the lions to bring to you on races to places. I hope you enjoy it. I'm enjoying looking around. We're gonna go see the lions feeding and get some good shots of them. Oh, don't, don't mind us. Don't mind us. Just walk through the middle of the road here. Hello. Oh, oh it's going to try and steal something off the top of the car. <laughs> Sorry, mate. We're going. <laughs> it's trying to get something off the top.
Next time on Races to Places, it's time for Linda to spin the spanners on Basil. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day, please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you the viewer and me the creator. Now a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you but for me collectively it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that I promise to keep creating great media that you love dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks.